How's it going everybody? Josh here from Spawn Fly Fish. We're leaving the shop, we're geared up, and we're going to hit the jetty. We hope you're excited. As always, if you like this, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and we hope you enjoy it. Follow us. Our leaving spawn fly fish. We are geared up, ready to go, and we are heading out to the north jetty on the Columbia River. So really easy to find this place. Head out to Cape Disappointment State Park. Um, it's one of the most popular state parks in the state of Washington. Easy access. And we're gonna head there right now. It's about a five minute drive from the shop. So as far as location goes, the proximity of the shop, you couldn't be you can't miss it. And you have to come see us before you come before you head out there. Uh, and we hope you do. As far as conditions go, Today is what we would call Iwako sunny. It is July 31st. Gray skies, lots of fog. Makes for great fishing. So, conditions are ideal for this. The wind uh, is low, the swell is low. Everything that you uh, have learned, hopefully, in our jetty uh, how-to video that we will also link in this. Um, everything that you've prepared to come out here for uh, has lined up on a day like this for us here in July and we're gonna head out there right now and show you how it's done. Made it to the jetty. Now we are getting our rods rigged up. We are not going to touch on gear too much in this video as we have another video that goes in and truly describes all the gear that you're going to need. But just a quick tip for those of you that haven't gone out we got an eight weight rod here. We have an integrated sinking line. This is a sink five, sink three to intermediate. Uh, and we are rocking two shrimp flies on this setup here. So this is gonna allow us to potentially catch two at a time on video here today. So pretty excited about that. It also get that first fly into, this, into the strike zone a little bit quicker as we're probing for the bottom as you will see here. So we got everything zipped up. We have everything ready to go. We are bringing a minimal amount of gear, which is really important on the jetty. And the last thing that you got to make sure that you can't forget is your stripping basket. We got the A-Rex Flexi Stripper here today and I got the pink one. So we're going to get ready and head on out. Also, just want to note, this is our first on the water video ever. So bear with us. There's obviously going to be some things that are sloppy, some things that we're still figuring out, but we've been getting this request a lot. So we're going to get after it.
Alrighty, so the hardest part is already done. Getting to the jetty and getting to the water. The rest is not hard. It's not nearly as hard uh, as it's thought out to be. I get that it's intimidating. The rocks are intimidating, but this is a lot of fun. And once you're actually here, the, the fishery itself is not as challenging as it's spelled out to be. So we're gonna strip some line out here. When you do so, be mindful of it falling in the rocks. So the common, common question you get asked is how do you cast? You know, you look at what I just climbed down and you think to yourself, where is my back cast? So there's two ways to do this. You can go up and out, which is very common, not nearly as needed. So the idea is that you don't need to cast very far. So this is our first cast here. We have some line out, we got some out into the water, and you're just gonna roll it. Lift it up out of the water, get that first fly. And that's about as far as you need to go. I mean, that was about 20 feet maybe, not far. Not a hard cast. And now we're just gonna probe. We're gonna feel for the bottom. And as we do, we're gonna have our have our fly line in our hand and slowly retrieve that fly line and feel for it. And once you feel the bottom, you just lift the rod tip up. And then back down. Lift the dog tip up. And you don't really need to set the hook on these. There's one. There's one. Just like that. First cast. Fish on. See, see what I mean? You don't need to set the hook. It's not, this is not a hard fishery. This is way easier than people make it out to be. As you can see, this is very important. So strip the line into the stripping basket. And then this is why I rec recommend an eight weight. Ooh. Oh no, shoot. So they're gonna bury themselves in the rocks. You gotta be careful of this. I can see them here. Let's see if I can get them to come out. There we go. Oh. And that's the first one. Black rockfish on the fly here. As you can see, first cast on the board. We're gonna catch a bunch of these. We hope you guys learn a bunch from this video. It's gonna be a ton of fun. July in Owaco, come see us. place is truly remarkable and you always got a chance of catching something else out here lingcod green ling perch other rock species rock, there's one oh, missed it shit uh salmon too uh, you can actually see uh, you probably can't see in there but there's a couple crab that i can see uh, the anglers to the right and to the left are all crabbing everybody's wondering what we're doing out here with the fly rod have fun so the tide's still going out, uh, so hopefully it'll go out a little bit, long, a little bit further. I like to get down in here uh, under some of these. Uh, I got. I gotta you gotta talk. stop talking. Yeah, I gotta talk and focus at the same time. One for three, but it got on the first cast, so it's got to count for something. So see, there's another prime example of you don't need to cast any farther than that. And you just kind of hang out, wait, count in your head, wait some more. This is about like when I like to start retrieving the fly, start pulling it in. Oh, and that's the bottom. That's okay. That's gonna happen. Got my fly there. I can feel it. Yep, we're good. I think I actually lost my bottom fly. That's okay. We'll sneak a little, another fly on there a little bit later once we get them going. So one thing I didn't do that I would recommend doing is when you do catch that first fish, bite it a little while. Uh, let it get all of the fish around you excited. There's a bunch more in there that haven't bit yet, so uh, 
usually that that can uh, stir things up a little bit. So when you're when you're first looking for these fish, I know we we, we landed one, hooked a couple others, but don't. I, I understand that it, that all of these rocks are are challenging to traverse, but don't don't feel like you need to get isolated in one spot. It is okay to probe around the whole jetty hold fish from the very tip to the very uh, edge where it meets the beach. I've caught black rockfish and other species of fish along the entire thing. There's no there's no secret spot. Uh, it all holds fish. As you can see, that one tried to take me into the rocks. Eightway was able to lift that up out of it. <laughs> Look at that one. Look at this guy. Rockfish of the day award goes to me. <laughs> Good time. Almost time to bust out the two weight. I brought a two weight. You catch a couple more of those, I will make it happen. Yeah, all the little ones come out of the woodworks right now. Another one! <laughs> Alright, give me the two weight. <laughs> Alright everybody, we got an Echo Carbon XL two weight. I'm going to st stick on two flies here. And we are going to catch a rockfish on a two weight. Just to, just to cap off this the showcase of the jetty fishing. We'll probably do a jetty jetty fishing trip 2.0. I would like to get a topwater eat on camera, but we'll see. All right, two eight, two eight. Oh, got one already! Oh. <laughs> That is a two weight 
jetty fish right there. Literally didn't even cast it. Just put the fly in the water. Watch the rod bend. Let's do it again. Saw a riser over here. I'm gonna cast to this riser. Right where he was. All right, get ready for it. And the line out. Right in the drift. I think two weight might actually be our new recommended weight. Can him swim under that rock. Pete, three on the two weight. <laughs> this is about to be a four. Oh, holy mackerel. Jump? One just jumped. Alright, this is truly the last cast and a half. Trying to cast it out there, trying to get a little bit bigger. Swing it. Feel the swing on the two weight. Is I don't have a sinking line for the two way. Put a To the small ones. In the evening, a lot of small fish come out to play. Well, everybody, two weight rockfish. Add that to the to do list while you're out here. You bring the three weight, hit the cutthroat creeks, bring it out here for a little nighttime, evening jetty session. Enjoy that. We're back here at the shop. We hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you learned something and we do hope you come out and conquer the jetty. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And if you have any questions at all, be sure to leave them in the comment section below and we will help you become a jetty master.
Oh, it is. I actually got it. Look at that little thing. Can you see it? Big appetite.